Welcome back, Supreme Being. Namaste. Today we're going to speak about the butterfly effect, the movie uh, that was made, I think, in 2004, somewhere there. And uh, I was always wondering if I should uh, watch it again, even though it has a terrible ending. I never liked it. And I decided to watch again, but not fully. Usually, I, when I'm alone at least, I like to skip over the worst parts and just get to the, um, the best parts of the movie. The most interesting ones, the eye-catching. And I realized that it has a different ending now. I researched this and... It turns out the director of the movie decided to make they make like they made like three different endings and the one went to the theaters the other went as a director cut and so on. However, the ending of the movie now it really uh, resonates with me a lot and it speaks about Twin Flames pretty much. So if you really want to watch. Like, it's a little bit hard to swallow, <laughs> but if you can get through the symbology of the movie only and then you stick with it, uh, it is actually very cool. It's a very, very powerful. I almost shed a tear when I was watching because actually my heart started to grow. You know, your heart chakra can grow or become smaller. Uh, depending on how you go throughout life and the weak heart chakras they can they will not withstand what is coming if you didn't notice the new videos I'm making it's a more about uh, spirituality rather than just twin flames but I also want to incorporate the twin flames because they are still very powerful one of the most powerful things uh, ever created um, and it's of course Anything that makes love very powerful and uh, it can free humanity, this makes us... Um, we should consider it, technically. Anything that smashes the heart chakra, we should be careful and avoid it. Anything that uh, helps the heart chakra grow, we should stick with it. So in the butterfly effect, it speaks about Twin Flames, I mean, it shows, it demonstrates Twin Flames, the divine meeting and age difference. So this is what I realized. I mean, you will get your own conclusions if you watch the movie. And I suggest if you watch the movie, watch it through Netflix. Because if you download the movie uh, with another source, you will probably get the ending that it's not nice, not pleasant, it's quite bad. For example, the butterfly effect, I used to have a DVD. And this ending on the DVD, I didn't, never liked it. It's horrible. I didn't even knew there was more than one ending to the movie. So, as we continue speaking, I will speak about four things. What the Twin Flame meeting really means and why we need it uh, for the whole world. The um, age difference. But before I speak about the age difference, I have to speak about the butterfly effect, which is a movie. And then I'll speak about age difference, and then I'll speak about um, a more powerful reason why Twin Flames are here. That uh, you probably already know, but not to this extent. And if you are new to Twin Flames, you never heard of this, ever. So let's begin. Um, the Twin Flame meeting... The reason being is just, it's for evolution purposes, for self-evolution, for collective evolution, and uh, for the evolution of Earth, and to remember, remind you that we are all one. I mean, we are one, one intention. Uh, we all seek the same thing, even bad entities seek the same thing. They all, we all seek uh, love, somehow. However, 
uh, there's different ways to use love. Love is a, a neutral world, word, in my opinion. Because you can love garbage stuff and you can love divinity. So there's that. Uh, that's, that's why when I speak about love, I always speak about love of the highest vibration. Because love can vibrate at different speeds. And even, uh, you know, crazy entities with a physical form will also have a heart. In, which means they also have kind of love, you know, but not the same love we do. We as the chosen ones. Um, so the I already explained the twin flame meeting. What is the reason? Now I'm going to explain. Actually, um, when you come to Earth and you're a chosen one, you are going to give out a certain light to the world. But when two, two chosen ones meet and they are actually like the same soul split into two, it's so powerful that it shakes the whole Earth. Not only you are powerful enough, but when you're two, it makes it magnified times a thousand, pretty much. Now, uh, the butterfly effect, the movie, is basically a person that uh, grew up having a very tough childhood and he carries a diary with himself and this person keeps on writing every single event he goes through. He reaches a point in life that uh, somebody starts to, you know, they, they found his diary and say, why don't you read your diary, I'm curious what's inside. And he starts to read and then he goes back in the past where he is reading. For example, if he reads about when he was nine years old, he was uh, uh, making a, a bonfire, then he will go back to this time making a bonfire. However, he comes back after each time he reads, but if he really desires it, he can stay in this, in this uh, time frame and make his own reality, which is different than the reality he had before. So, the diary is full of memories and each memory can become just a memory or become a totally new parallel reality. So, um, there's consequences, because when he changes the reality, uh, he doesn't like how it, what is the outcome, because he starts to compare with the other realities, and he understands that everything is uh, messed up again, or something like this. And uh, the most powerful thing is that, um, in the movie, he is in a, most of the times he's in a relationship with the same person. So he tries to constantly get this relationship. But this person is just, it's not just any person. He, if he, it was all about just having a common relationship, he would get together with anyone else. But he loves specifically this person. And this person loves him back. So it's a man and woman. And uh, it's just that every time they get together in uh, each parallel reality, obviously only he knows that there's different parallel realities, uh, no one else knows, just him. That's why he goes a little bit insane in the movie. Each time they go together, uh, there's catastrophes happen. And obviously, I, I don't want to spoil um, the video, any the the movie further. But for the people who do not want to watch, then you can just continue the video right now because I'm just gonna say something. I'm gonna say a spoil. But, um, <laughs> Patty is sending me messages. Hope I don't get a copyright from the sounds of Telegram. So, um, what happens? Uh, something happens, and uh, I'm gonna say spoil. This spoil will last like 20, 30 seconds. So if you don't like, just skip 30 seconds, okay? And watch the movie by yourself. Um, so, they, uh, he decided not to meet her in the last, uh, his last parallel reality. Uh, and everything changed. Uh, his life became amazing, everyone became happy, um, there was, no one was harmed, and it was perfect. But they had to walk different paths, that was the only way. Um, okay, now that I spoke about the spoiler. Um, so, the spoiler is finished. I just want to say that the meaning of this is that um, each time he was coming to a parallel reality, he would change, you know, 
uh, his life and he could actually change when he was going to come back to earth or be born. He could change anything. So, um, I'm going to explain something about uh, the people who are not chosen, a chosen one, or the people who don't have twin flames. Uh, these people that are not serving the most high or the, the love of the highest vibration, uh, not God, because God can be any God, can be a, a bad entity, for example. Um, the, a very high vibrational entity, which is the one who made the universe. The entire universe, not Earth. Because Earth, as we know it, is, uh, you know, there's too many manipulations. Um, anyone who doesn't serve this, the love, the highest vibration, will serve, will serve only the common earthly desires of the heart, which is just, you know, um, dirty stuff and garbage and things like this. And this person will become jealous of the people who, are, who really came here with a purpose. They will be jealous. They will be jealous of you. And by doing this, they will uh, terminate every single thing you love. And if their life, because you are disturbing their life, because here, Earth was supposed to be vibrating much higher, but the fallen angels made it uh, transform Earth to be vibrating at lower speeds. And, by, and because of this, it becomes difficult for us, higher vibrational uh, beings, to be able to live here. Um, but we still need to come in order to make our home how, it's, how it is supposed to be. So, uh, by claiming our home our home, their home doesn't become their home anymore. So we are a threat to them, you understand? But this world was ours before. There's, I could go into this uh, in, in another video um, about the Anunnaki and stuff. But I just wanted to say that we are an enemy to them if we continue to uh, do and perform the love of the highest vibration. And, um, yeah. So, there are very little conscious people with a soul on Earth. Uh, very little, like people with a soul and conscience. Uh, you you may see many people walking around. Do not be surprised by how many people don't care, uh, don't give a damn by what's going on uh, and uh, like spirituality and stuff. Forget about it because uh, uh, it's like mm, hundreds of times are higher the people without a conscious consciousness and without a soul compared to people that have a soul uh, there is a, a a way to do this it's achieved with very high technology and there's an history behind it and i could speak about this further but i'm just gonna continue on the momentum of twin flames because that's what the video is about and um, so because of this these people are just not gonna let us, the, the people with the consciousness, with the soul, to claim our home our home, you understand? To claim Earth our home. By claiming it our home, and if we are enough people, we reach to the fifth dimension. Actually, we are reaching fifth dimension whether we want it or not. Because it's, it's just uh, we are in the Aquarius time which is awakening. Okay? It means awakening. And uh, we are awakening. To, towards uh, transforming this earth, finally. So, the rest does not vibrate with you and the little ones have a soul. The, the, the minority, the minority of the world have a soul. And that's why we feel outnumbered. But because our energy is so powerful, we outnumber them. And by staying together with our twin flame, we could even come together with the perfect age difference. Like, um, you know, for example, to be born at the same time, it doesn't matter. What matters is the age difference of twin flames uh, has to be different because they don't let it happen. They will never let it happen because by being born at the same time, you are going to uh, help each other out much more and in a more powerful way than ever before. So it is at the most importance to break this connection, to make uh, the two souls 
with a very big age difference or never to be born at the same time or in the same lifetime ever again because this will complicate things. Now, uh, it's possible to put the souls to live um, in the same lifetime but uh, very separate from each other, very, very big age difference so that you don't like each other and so that you never connect and so that you worship the material and this world. And by doing this, we make the matrix possible. We make the system the way it, it continues to be. But we are reaching a time that um, we're going to go home whether we want or not. I mean, we have the possibility to go home, but doesn't mean that we can go home. Some of us have chosen to stay here on Earth forever because uh, we are the chosen ones. By being the chosen one, we have the power to choose. The NPCs, the people who don't have a soul or a consciousness, they don't have free will. They cannot choose. So we as the chosen ones have the ability to choose, but it's up to us. Are we going to stay in the material world, worship the material world and the material God and stay a slave? Or are we going to change and go back to our nature by not changing, which is ironic, uh, we just don't change, we are the same, uh, we come back to the origins, we just come back to our true origins, so we are not technically changing, we are just becoming a, a newborn baby, pretty much, and being with our twin flame, um, being very spiritually aware of what's going on, to be able to discern between truth and lies, uh, and being able to use our in intuition to the max, this is the only way to for us to uh, be able to go to the new New Earth, not the New World Order, but the New Earth, the fifth dimensional consciousness, which means ethereal beings um, from high vibrational uh, consciousness, uh, the love of the highest vibration as well, not the highest frequency, like high, high frequency can also mean uh, weapons and stuff, radiation, but high vibration, yes, you can get high vibration from an earthquake or things like this, but spiritually, high vibrational love and when it's when you include love into the equation everything becomes balanced that's the point okay when we are too scientific too mentalist we cannot really understand um, the purpose of everything purpose is here so in our heart the heart is a hundred hundreds of times uh, actually hundreds of thousands of times more powerful than the mind. We actually create with the heart, not with the mind. So remember that. I love you so much. May the love of the highest vibration be in your hands and heart.